I'm kind of looking at ideas surrounding concealment. I found um, that I'm noticing a lot of things that are covered or in some way meant to be hidden. I find them uh, to be sometimes more conspicuous than those things that are just out in the open. It's kind of a strange phenomenon, so I'm trying to kind of explore that and find out if that's a, a strategy for making art. The beginning of the, my process with that was to go around town photographing things that I found that were covered or concealed in some way, collecting kind of imagery that would sync up with each other. So this is the kind of thing I'm looking for when I'm walking around with my camera, or not even looking for, but it just kind of pops out. Something you'd walk by normally without thinking about, but they kind of, uh, they call attention to themselves in a way. They started printing them out and then printing them out quite large in the end and that kind of led to showing these photographs as like large prints that were mounted to board uh, in black and white and uh, I was interested in the way that these things that I was photographing on the street all of a sudden became very animated uh, and then from there I, I kind of felt like this was kind of comfortable territory for me, like photographing and then displaying those photographs in a certain way. And I wanted to get away from kind of representing something else. Instead, I wanted to make the thing itself. So I started making what I was calling coverings. And uh, I was using fishing net and weaving surveyor's tape through it and uh, presenting that in different ways. I was hanging it on the wall uh, from a few different points um, and also using uh, kind of these colorful green poles to kind of drape the, the coverings over. I felt like those it, they were kind of like a good transition piece for me because I was always struggling with um, you know doing things that were familiar to me. I was working with grids and right angles, which I think are sort of goes back to my graphic design training. By using kind of a soft material, I was able to do something that was in a grid. The, the fishing net, you know, essentially was a grid, but that was able to kind of melt away. Uh, there was one piece that was hung from the wall from three points, um, and these things, you know, kind of take on whatever shape you know, gravity forces them into. So, though I didn't um, intend for it to, a lot of people thought, you know, looked like um, images from that they remember from Abu Ghraib. It reminded some people of like shamanistic dress. Um, someone else thought it uh, reminded them of, uh, I think it's called a ghillie suit, camouflage garment that a sniper would wear. So these things, these ideas came up when people experienced the work that I couldn't have expected and that made me feel really uh, good that this thing went beyond you know my hands and my ideas it was like became what they wanted it to be or what they kind of thought it should be or could be uh, and for me that was uh, really rewarding <laughs>